Hello again and oh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This time I will be discussing one of the more important chronic diseases that has been shown to really affect the long-term quality of life of most of my patients, primarily because this problem remains asymptomatic. So one of my um, subscribers basically ask the question as to whether he needs to check his cholesterol. First, we have to determine what is cholesterol. Now, cholesterol we know is a waxy substance that's found in all of us and comes from two sources. Almost always we think the source of cholesterol is from the food that we eat, but actually majority of the cholesterol in our body comes from our liver. But it also comes from the foods that we eat, including the animal meat products, the poultry and the dairy products. But what we know is that cholesterol is needed by our body, specifically to build cells and make vitamins, as well as a very important precursor substance for most hormones that are needed in our daily living. What is also very critical is when you talk about cholesterol per se in food, it is actually not the bad culprit as to why a patient suffers from a heart attack and stroke. It is not the cholesterol in eggs that we are worried about that causes the heart disease, but rather those foods that are high in saturated fat and trans fat are the main culprits like french fries or chips that have been shown to be responsible. Why? Because these are the fats that cause your liver to make more cholesterol than it otherwise would. As a result, the other production of this cholesterol goes from a normal cholesterol level to one that becomes unhealthy. But when we talk about cholesterol, there are several kinds of cholesterol. There are two types, specifically the LDL or the bad cholesterol or the HDL, which is the good cholesterol. Now the problem occurs if you have too much of the bad cholesterol and too little or not enough of the good kind. This therefore results in a bad cholesterol slowly building up in the inner walls of your arteries that causes heart attacks and stroke. So what then should we do? First, we have to remember that high cholesterol can be inherited. So it can be genetically determined. If your parents have it, almost always you'll get it. However, unhealthy life choices can exacerbate or increase the bad cholesterol more which makes this disease actually preventable and treatable, specifically if you counter act the bad healthy choices. But remember, it is very important that part of your yearly executive panel that cholesterol levels should be checked because high cholesterol will not give you any symptoms. If I have a patient who's a diabetic or hypertensive, more than 90% of my patients will have high cholesterol. That comprises the so-called metabolic syndrome. So if you have diabetes and you're on treatment, or if you have high blood pressure and you're on treatment, make sure you ask your doctor to screen for high cholesterol as part of your lipid blood test. Because remember, you can do something about it. A healthy diet and a regular exercise, plus almost always a medication, can help reduce your high cholesterol. Now, studies have shown that if you are, for example, a diabetic with already proven heart disease, let's say you have an angioplasty or an angiogram and show to have a coronary artery disease, you really want your bad cholesterol or LDL to be less than 55. Any diabetics for that matter should aim for an LDL of less than 70 because any patient with diabetes 
are categorized at very high risk to suffer from a heart attack and stroke. Now, if you have diabetes, therefore, in general, you aim for an LDL cholesterol of less than 70. And that almost always to achieve this goal of less than 70, a person with diabetes will need medications to lower the LDL cholesterol. What medications can we use? The most commonly used agents to lower LDL cholesterol in the market that's easy to get are the statins. They are the most commonly medic used medications that have been proven safe and effective. When we try to start a patient on a medication, our goal is to lower the LDL cholesterol, the lower, the longer we lower it, the lower will your risk for heart attack and stroke be. Therefore, once you have achieved the goal LDL cholesterol, once you have achieved a low LDL cholesterol, it is not time to stop. Do not stop the drug because your LDL cholesterol dropped because you are on medication. Anyway, the longer you're on it, the lower your bad cholesterol for a longer time, the lower will be your risk for heart attack and stroke. And statins have been shown to be very safe. In fact, even as low as 20, if you lower it to below 55, studies have not shown it to have any effects in terms of cognition, in terms of the liver, or in terms of increasing hemorrhagic stroke. Furthermore, what we know is that the cellular physiologic functions wherein cells require cholesterol are not really dependent on the circulating LDL cholesterol. Furthermore, your brain actually is not dependent on the circulating lipids because the CNS or the central nervous system itself synthesizes cholesterol in itself de novo. So the bottom line is, it's very important that you check your cholesterol in your yearly executive panel because a high cholesterol in itself can help determine your risk for long-term outcomes in terms of disability. And that a high cholesterol may actually not be your fault because it may be hereditary. And that lifestyle and diet do help, but almost always based on my clinical experience, lowering your bad cholesterol or LDL to a desirable level, specifically if it's less than 70 or less than 55, because you're a diabetic and a hypertensive, may need medications. And once your goal bad cholesterol is reached, continue your lifestyle and do not stop your medications as the lower the LDL cholesterol, the longer it will benefit you most. And that drugs like statins have been proven to be safe long-term. In fact, you don't need to check your liver every so often. Since 2014 or 2012, the US FDA has recommended no longer to check the liver profile all the time because it has been shown to really not affect the liver long term. So high cholesterol, therefore, which is part of the metabolic syndrome, should always be part of your blood test when you check for diabetes workup, when you check for hypertension. And remember, as part of the metabolic syndrome, these are chronic diseases that require chronic treatment. Once your blood sugar is controlled, once your high blood pressure is controlled, once your high cholesterol is controlled, all of these chronic conditions will need you to be on the medication to maintain that normal level. So if you like my videos, please click subscribe and notification bell for, uh, to be notified for new videos. And with that, I'd like to thank all the subscribers and all of you who have uh, learned from my past videos. Please feel free to click subscribe and please feel free to click on some of the links which I've placed here, uh, which will directly forward you to my previous videos. 
with that, thank you very much. If you have any questions or if you have any comments or topics you want me to discuss, feel free to message me in my YouTube channel. With that, thank you very much.